and the other Ethiopian still very much in this as well. Sixth fastest in the world this year, Malati. Four laps to go. Ethiopia one and two, Kenya three and four. They're coming round now to begin to lap one or two of the athletes. Daniel of Eritrea is having a fantastic race, just about staying with this. Schwarzer is at the very back of that group. We've got a little bunch of five and then four who are running in single file. So we're now down to less than 10, still in contention for this 10,000 metre title. If I was a theory, Gide or Taye, I couldn't be doing it because this is too fast. But if I, I drop the hammer now, Sifan Hassan is at the back of the group. If you go now, you're going to get that crucial 20, 30 metres on her without her even realising she could be caught up in traffic. The lapping runners is getting busy down there. Helen Abiri tried to make a move and it was neutralised by Gide and Taye. They swung round her and got into control again. But I don't think they're going any faster than the 71s we saw when they overtook Ailish McColgan a few laps ago. They've really got to get moving very soon if they want to run the sting out of Safan Hassan. 3.59 she ran in the closing 1500 metres to take the title in Doha. If they leave it any longer, you think the Dutch women's got more and more of a chance of defending that title. Just less than three laps to go. Surely, Latessa Mbekide, if she's got anything in the tank, she needs to start thinking about a big wind-up. Abiri would desperately, desperately love to win a medal, if not the title, over 10,000 metres. The defending champion, Sifan Hassan, is still in touch in that group in around about fifth or sixth. Another athlete about to be lapped. Taye though looks so composed, her body language indicates she's still comfortable. Gide just about somehow finding a gap, or does she, through on the inside. Abiri is the first of the two Kenyans. Kip Kenboy just ever such a slightly taller figure. And Malati, the third Ethiopian, still in that group. What kind of sprint can Sifan Hassan find in this race? What kind of form is she in? She just goes past the lap runner. The Eritrean will be spat out the back of that group. Oh, this is starting to get so exciting. The Ethiopian flag's just in front of me, above the finish line. I'm beginning to really wave and get interested here. Three Ethiopians still in that group. Schweitzer hanging on at the back, the crowd on the far straight getting excited about the presence of the American. We are witnessing some of the all-time great female 10,000 meter runners. Latessa Bekide is the world record holder. Twice she's been on the podium in the last two global editions of 10,000 meter races. Silver in Doha, bronze in Tokyo. Both times it was Hassan who took the title. What can the Dutch woman produce here? Because we have around about 550 metres to go. This is getting super tense. The previous lap was 70 seconds. That was the fastest we've seen. Helen Abiri claims she could drop a sub-60 and she's getting herself in position to do just that. Gide lifts her pace ever so slightly, but could Safan Hassan all the trouble she's had this year? A long recovery mentally and physically from the Olympic Games, followed by a calf strain. It's all to fight for as they hit the mark. Gide from Abiri. Inside the last 400 metres in the women's 10,000, Latessa Bekide striking out for glory, but Hassan is tracking the leading quartet. The noise is huge down the back straight. Gide retains on her shoulder. Remember the youngster beat Latessa Bekide over 5,000 metres, Kip Kemboy trying to stay with the pace and Hassan is winding up for a big finish what a title defence this will be for Sifan Hassan, she's done nothing all season and she's coming up onto the shoulder of Gide, Abiri comes through and blocks Tai on the inside what a battle, who's got the heart, who's got the belief who's got the drive and the acceleration one of the great 10,000 metre races, Gide desperate for the win is it going to be her turn, she looks over her shoulder, Abiri's coming she drifts out, Latessa Mbekide, by the narrowest, narrowest of margins, turns silver from Doha into gold here in Eugene. Helen O'Beary tried to come wide on the outside, and at last, at last, the world record holder becomes the world champion. My goodness.
goodness me, it was close. It was anyone's race from the top four coming down the home straight. So many times she's been out kicked, but not today. She reigns supreme here, and this is the track where you feel the glory, and Latessa Mekide does. At last, she's a global champion over 10,000 metres. such a slight drift out towards lane two you can't really see it from that angle she just about hung on what a brilliant finish that was incredible Kip Kemboy got a PB for the bronze and Hassan having done nothing all season still came out and ran 30 minutes and 10 seconds that was one of the most entertaining finishes to a 10,000 meters I have ever seen because you didn't know right down until the last stride who was going to take the title finish I have ever seen of Le off Letessa Bet Guide. You can see her able to do that. She made a big move with 1K to go in Doha and came unstuck. Got beaten by Safan Hassan, had to settle for the silver medal last time round, and I'm sure that was playing on her mind here today in Eugene. Letessa Bet Guide, patient, perfect execution of her closing 150, 25 laps. Yeah, it, it's fine, it will also to self up, but you've still got to nail your tactics and your, the measure of your effort in the closing stages. And great to see the first instant uh, the medal presentation. Uh, this is going to happen. The organisers really keen for the athletes to do their lap of honour wearing their medal. And they've managed to successfully lasso those medals around our top three across the line in this women's 10,000 metres so they can get shown off to the crowd as they go around. Oh, what a race. That was absolutely brilliant. I, you, you were waiting for Hassan to come. She did. And perhaps if her season had started with a few less issues, then coming up wide on the outside with 1.20 to go, she would have taken the title. But you can only beat who's there on the day, and, and you, you, know, you take it on face value. It was an absolutely stacked field. And this time at last, it was Latessa Betguide's turn for the win. Do you know, I remember Hannah watching her win back-to-back -back World Junior Cross Country titles, which is so hard to do. You've got to be so young to have two cracks at that. And I remember thinking at the time, if she doesn't get injured, she is going to be a major, major player on the distance running scene. What a race and what a way to turn silver from Doha into gold here in Eugene. Letessa Betguide is the champion of the world. Helena Beery at last on the podium in a 10,000. Silver.